and my name is Paul Cummings. I'm a ceramic artist. I decided to make a ceramic flower per person who died at the front of the First World War. It's literally going to be 16 acres of ceramic flowers around the moat to represent the people who have died. I normally make everything myself. The scale of this I can't. I need help because there's so many of them. And surprisingly enough, I've actually managed to gather a lot of people who 70% are artists, but they all actually have a direct link to actually a member in the armed forces or people they know who have died. Always at the forefront of my mind is each one of these represents a soldier that died. Some days it can be really emotional, very, very emotional. So the installation is 888,246 beautiful ceramic poppies by ceramic artist Paul Cummins and his team. And they're uh, laid out in the moat of the Tower of London, all 16 acres of it, in uh, an installation entitled Blood Sweat Lands and Seas of Red. It's a, it's a great way to, to represent the, the sacrifice that was made. They brought it home to me the other day when I thought that actually every time you put a poppy in, it's, it's a soldier, it's a service person that's died during the First World War. This is a very, very moving thing to do. We just wanted to be part of it. I was just in awe of how many people were here, honestly. Um, it's just really nice to see the support from the whole city. Yeah. Magic. Yeah. Really moving. It is very moving. Tremendous. I love the spirit of this project. It's just been amazing, amazing. Yeah, that, and that's what it's about. It's, you know, it's appreciation. It's always a little bit of appreciation. It's such a lovely way to commemorate it. Yeah, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. it's beautiful. The thing about this is it reminds you that these people were human beings, just as you are a human being, just as the mil you know the military personnel are human beings, and and that that interconnection. Yeah, it, it, it's it's kind of everything. It breaks down the barriers uh, of them versus us, or at just a vast quantity of numbers. And I was at the closing sort of ceremony today, and and the last poppy got put in, and you by a little boy, and you think that's a life. And you look around, and there's more than 800,000 more lives, and it really it does hit you. Sometimes you look at the vastness of it, and it's beautiful but hard to comprehend. We've had so many volunteers, so many people making the poppies, the whole of the Yeoman Warner staff, the HRP staff, the number of people involved has been enormous. My son was in the army as well. He served in Ireland, he served in Bosnia, and when I see that, I'm just really, really grateful that he came back. People are able to bring their own family stories to it. Grandparents can explain to their grandchildren how they connect into, into this story of our nation. I think it's very important to remember. I think it's a good thing because we're remembering people who've done something for us and who've lost their lives while doing that. And the least we can do, obviously, is remember them. So, you know, that there's the first thing, which is them all going out to the general public, the people who bought them, and them having their own kind of tiny fragment of the, of the installation. And then there are the two sculpture pieces, which have been kindly bought for the nation and we can take to various different locations. The installation is going to live on in a new, different way.